This is the revision 2 of the PS4 USB-C board. Now, why would I make a new version? Didn't the other one work? It worked. But I didn't tell you the entire truth. And the entire truth is that out of 8 of the circuit board I tried to make, I got only 4 to work. There are 2 really big challenges with the circuit board that I made for the PS4 controller. Number 1, the components that I used are very small and are really hard to hand place correctly. They are usually placed on circuit boards by robots and robots have superb dexterity compared to humans. Number two, there are components on both sides of the circuit board. Components at the top and a USB-C connector at the bottom. This means that it requires soldering components in two different sessions. That is why I use the soldering oven on the top components and a heat gun on the USB-C connector on the other side. On this new circuit board, I tried to fix both these things. The components used on the new board are almost twice as big. However, moving the USB-C connector to the top side is not as easy. You see, the USB-C connector is placed on the bottom of the board for a reason. That is to align the USB-C connector to the opening in the controller. However, I managed to do a little trick. The original board uses a cylindrical plastic guiding pin through the circuit board and then a screw through another hole to secure it to the controller. What I did was completely grind away all the structure around the screw hole and use that as an extra guiding pin. By lowering the circuit board in the controller and by using a 1mm thick circuit board instead of a 1.6mm one, I was able to lower it enough so the USB-C connector could sit on the top side of the board, while still sticking out where the hole in the plastic is. Well, almost. Because the board now has all components on one side, I could use a cheap circuit board assembly service in China called JLC PCB. They will manufacture the board for me, and I just ordered 20 boards fully assembled for about $100 plus shipping. If this board also turns out working, I will release the build file for this board and show you how to order it. Then you can either assemble it yourself or order a small batch from JLC PCB. The minimum amount is 5 boards. So subscribe to the channel to get notified when I've tested the new boards and join the Discord or follow me on Twitch for a chance to get one of the boards for free.